cool. Ah, word stuff. <laughs> we are doing this on Tuesday. Hello, and welcome back to another dose of table talk, where we talk about your questions, topics, things, and stuff on reddit.com slash r slash source of it, and topics uh, using the hashtag table talk on Twitter and Facebook. My name's Philip DeFranco. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Elliot Morgan. Why is that the hardest thing for me to ever do? I think you nailed it, though. Thanks. I'm super good You're at it. You're getting it, man. You know, You're I'm getting good. it. You're Took learning the ropes. Years. Yep. <laughs> at Sessa May, Francesca Montefort says, what's your opinion on reading movie reviews before you see the movie? Would mostly bad reviews stop you from watching a movie? It depends. So there's this movie mm. with, uh, who is it? I think it's Ben Affleck and Justin Timberlake. <gasps> the runner, 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 yes, runner. Yes, yeah. I wanted to see that so, so bad. Yeah, I wanted to see it as well because of those two gentlemen who I happen to really like. Mm. And then I saw the reviews, mm-hmm. and they were nine percent on Rotten. Was it nine? I, yeah. I saw it was like fifteen. So it's yeah, yeah. Worse. I, and I never, <laughs> did you ever see it? Because I nope. never saw it because if it's of that, that bad. No, but if it's in like the forty to sixty range, I don't care. I'll go for it. Yeah. yeah. The problem is right. Uh, like some of the old school Sandler movies got shit on hardcore by critics, but I enjoyed them at the time. I can still go back and watch. I think it's Click. Is it Click? Click's great. Yeah. Click was right when he started sad. doing like family movies. He was yeah. a little bit more, yeah. But it was still like funny enough. There was mm-hmm. like kind of something there, Good but movie, yeah. it, it didn't hold up as much as I thought it would last time I watched it. But I feel like with comedies, it could go either way. If it's just a general other sort of thing, no. Also, if it's an independent movie and it has like a 90 to 100, don't trust that as well. No, same, yeah, same thing. That's another thing with Ben Affleck. Freaking, uh, <laughs> what's his name that did The Master? What's his name? Terrence Malick? Oh, where's Steve Zaragoza? Yeah. Yes, yes, P.T. Anderson, yeah, P.T. Anderson, sorry. Uh, what's the uh, but P.T. Anderson did that, another film with Terrence Ben Howard. Affleck. I was like, yeah, Terrence Howard. Yeah, Terrence Howard. Uh, <laughs> but it's so incredibly boring. Is it? I mean, I know it's kind of his thing, but like, God, it's so boring. <laughs> well, so uh, every time, I've, I have not seen the movie just because I know it's it's long and everyone's so like either it's the best movie that's ever been made, I've seen it three yeah. times, or like that was the worst thing I ever sat down to see and look mm-hmm. at. Um, but yeah, I think... Reviews, I think they are helpful. Um, they do keep me from experiencing some things, uh, just because also, like, I went into her and I had read a, like a, a variety review, and like in my in the back of my head the entire time I was thinking of the points that this fucking person made. Yeah, yeah that's kind of not fun when you See, don't like your I own. never, yeah, I never seek out written reviews. Sometimes I'll ask people who mm. I know have seen it, like, hey, do you like it? And that's all. Because then I'll start thinking about all the things they said. Like, you know what? This does feel long. And maybe if mm-hmm. they hadn't said it felt long, like, that I wouldn't be thinking that. So Yeah, it's kind of with, like, with Wolf of Wall Street. Everybody was like, it's so long. But I didn't feel no, like it was at long at all. Mm-hmm. And then um, opposite with American Hustle. Like, I went into that thinking that it was going to be this, like, super tight, like, oh. really awesome movie. And it's good. But in my opinion, it doesn't match up to what the reviews are saying. So it can work mm-hmm. that way, too. Like, you can also overhype it. And it's going to get a lot more of that. And with the Oscars coming up, so yeah. yeah, I also feel like when we do movie reviews, it's always like these are our opinions. Like, watch them, don't watch them. Like sometimes people get so crazy, like oh, you didn't like this movie. I love this movie, my favorite movie ever. And I'm like, great, you? go love it. Like we're just saying what we think. I base my approval on you, whether or not you agree with me. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I will say the one person I disagree with the most is probably Steve. Hmm. Steve, like if Steve doesn't like Hit a movie, I'm like. Yeah. What does everyone else think, though? Can- <laughs> <laughs> what, it is, what it is? Let's see. Uh, Nini Bozu says, what kind of old person do you think you will turn out to be? Um, see, I think a lot of people want to be like, I'm going to be that like one active guy. But I'm probably going to be like inside a lot, hopefully taking like future medication <laughs> to keep my, uh, my like, hand-eye coordination up. And then it's just drugs and video games. Yep. 80-year-old Philip DeFranco. When you say drugs, drugs, do you mean like prescription drugs or do you mean like drug drugs? It depends. It's future drugs. <laughs> I mean, that Who knows? Like, who knows what what's legal Saturday? at that point? <laughs> you know, uh, what's his name? Like, uh, the comedian Nick Swartzen talks about because of, like, the rap music that everybody listens to right now. Oh, that yeah. we're going to, like, we're going to be a generation of old people that listen to rap music. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to be that guy, which yep. is pretty yeah. exciting. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Your grandmother I was a hoe. Isn't that the like, part of his <laughs> yeah, Nick yeah, Swartzen's yeah, yeah, joke? Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, I don't know. I think I'll be, uh, I'm hoping less neurotic and i don't know do you know yeah do you guys think you're gonna be old like do you imagine being see old? that's the thing is like you always think like like that was instantly he's like what kind of old person and i'm like am i gonna make it to be an old yeah. like is that dark yeah. to think that i've maybe always, make I've always it thought 35 old? and then everything else is like oh no yeah okay. <laughs> it all, it's so like dependent on like because i'm it, like do you if you achieve your 
uh, quote unquote dreams, like wouldn't that change who you are as an old sure. person? Like you meet the old person who's mm. very well off. It's very different than the old person who like, hey, I had a great life and now I have like a tiny a house or I live in an apartment or whatever. And that kind of shifts like, so it's so hard to tell. Mm. Well, I guess yeah, we'll find I mean, out in 50 years. Yeah, there are different yeah. like levels of goals. Cause I know that like I had my first set of goals and I still have like my three year goals. But mm-hmm. I know that like once I have my kid, then I'm gonna have different goals, and uh, right. most of them will, or not most Everything of them, ships. a good a good amount will be for him, and then us as like a family unit mm-hmm. of doing stuff. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You know when you it's meet hard too, thinking so far in the future. You know when you meet like the old people who are not nice. Have you, have you ever met them? They're <laughs> yeah. great. Uh, I always used to think like I'm gonna be the nicest old person ever, and and like I still think I will be. But there's an element of not giving a crap mm-hmm. that old people have mastered that they don't have to worry about. Like that's how come. I think I was talking to like Steve about this because like, I, I, we were talking about how they can fart in public. Like old people don't, that's why they do it. It's not because they can't control themselves. If they've gotten to a point where if you smell their fart, it's like, whatever, I don't care. I'm going to die soon anyway. So I think I'm, I'm going to be that type of old person. I think I'm going to have a complete disregard for most laws. I'm going to speed wherever I want to go. I'm going to have a great time. Dude, that's also a great Nick Swanson joke. I'm dying. Let me go 90. Yeah, they should be going. <laughs> we should just yeah, do Nick Swanson jokes all day. The entire thing. <laughs> Because it's 2002 yeah, again. Yeah. Uh, my grandmother plays World of Warcraft, so I just aspire to be like her. There you go. Yeah. Ting. You want to jump in there? Oh yeah. I told a, uh, I told a, uh, an old man to go fuck himself the other day. I saw your tweet about that. Were, we were at a, uh, not a, it was a Yamoto, not a Benihana. Benihana sucks. Um, Yamoto, sorry. Benihana lovers. Oh, your your Benihana. eyes. Drew's eyes went. I like, my <laughs> mouth dropped. Shots fired. Yeah, thank shots. you. Hashtag okay. shots fired. <laughs> um, sorry, are you talking about? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> sorry, we were in the no, middle it was, of a it, story. It was, just, it was just three old people. Uh, apparently, when you look at a chair from a far away, uh, that means it's yours. And then oh, no, it Lindsay, does not. Lindsay, a uh, pregnant lady, uh, decided to sit down in it, and they told her that she needed to move. And I was like, you need to go fuck yourself. She is pregnant. She Whoa, gets the yeah, chair. yeah, that's great. Dude. Anyway, um, we were, I went to one of Lee's groundling shows on Sunday, and we were all piling in. To, this is totally unrelated. It's still, no. it's still kind of related. We go in, and there's four of us it's me, my wife, and uh, another couple of friends, and we're going in, and it's like the aisle is in the center. And so, and then there's like a, like four empty seats on the second row on the house right side. And so we're like, oh, we're going to sit there. This tool bag steps over the seats behind us and steps in it. And I was like, it made me so <laughs> mad. I was like, you just, I was like, and the, like it spilled out of my mouth. But like while looking at him and just talking to my wife, I was like breaking societal norms. That's cool. And then I was like, what an uppity douchey insult. That's not even a good insult. It's not like, <laughs> like if I could have gone back and I'd been like, hey man, dick move. Clearly we were going for those seats. But instead I was like, hey man, we're to break societal norms. <laughs> so stupid. So, I, uh, I yelled at a guy at the New York airport who tried to cut me in the TSA line. And I literally, I had eight minutes till my flight took off. Like, I am doing the jitter dance, I was antsy, and I'm getting my stupid shoes off, and I put them in the thing, I gotta go. This motherfucker comes up with this tiny little, I'm just gonna cut in front of you. And so I turn around and go, this is a fucking line. And then I'm like, oh God, they're gonna, they're not gonna let me mm-hmm. on the plane. And the TSA lady goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like, yes, yeah. New York's the best. Yeah, no, that's TSA, yeah, sassy yeah, you, TSA that's people. Sassy TSA lady, totally having I've, I've never met like a very like, serious TSA person. No. It's, oh, there's a lot of them. Unless, those. like, it's deep in the line, because most of the time, it's, like, it's like people that, like, work at the Gap. <laughs> and you're true. like, well, how would you get this job securing fucking everything? Anyway. Yep. So, Mad Dog Mike over on Twitter, uh, or Epion, Epion Mike, says, Oh, he can get away with that name. Yeah, do you... you uh, cool. Yeah, totally. He looks really, cool. really cool. <laughs> um, do you sleep under the sheets at hotels? I know they say you're not supposed to. I do. Oh, I wait, do really? I thought you're supposed to because the top blanket, they don't wash. I always take the, the top sheets, one off. Do wash. I always take the top one off, the comforter, and because the comforter is harder to clean, isn't it? Right, she so right? I sleep in the sheets because yeah. my reasoning is they're both so thin that at least they'll wash that part, yeah. maybe. I don't <laughs> do anything special. I go, oh, that's a bed. Uh, I trust humanity enough that it's at least, if it's not, hasn't, hasn't been washed recently, then it's not that dirty. Mm-hmm. And I climb under it, and I just have, I sleep very well. Yeah. And I wake up, and I, in the back of my mind, I know, it's probably pretty gross, but I, I don't s- have a, a ultraviolet black light with me. Don't do that don't to yourself. Do it. Don't Ignorance do it. is bliss, yeah. Yep. I have no desire. You wouldn't even want to do that to people's genes you know. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, oh my yeah, god, you're true. a disgusting person. <laughs> Did you smell on your lap? The only... Half of this is more fun for me, just watching Drew's reaction to words. <laughs> just, just Drew behind the camera. Uh, uh, let me just wipe these <laughs> down. Does anybody have a lint roll? Wait, do we have one? Yes. 
at G- JC. He's got <laughs> all sure, 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 sure. It's Jason Crawford with no vowels. Says, okay. what's your favorite Bill Murray movie? Groundhog Day. Oh, really? Yeah, I like Surprising it. Surprising answer. Surprising. Lost in translation. It's a solid movie. That is a Groundhog solid Groundhog Day is great. Movie. There's just something like about Groundhog Day. Because I guess uh, I was reading his, uh, his AMA. I guess it didn't pop originally when it was first released. And it was more like a big cult hit that like... Just yeah. More, yeah. Oh, more, Groundhog more. Day. Yeah. I saw it for the first time like a year ago, so mm-hmm. I think I missed the boat on on that movie. Yeah, yeah but I read that too. So I about how like how it didn't get any respect for its writing and everything. Yeah. It was the first time he was in that movie. And then I know like a bunch of hardcore fans will probably mention like, how can you not say Caddyshack? Um, Caddyshack was good. I you never can... saw the Life of Steve Zazu. I don't know. But I, I remember one the Aquatic Life, right? Yeah. I really wanted to see it, but I never. Oh no! Yeah, I never saw it. But I'm not a big. That guy, Wes Anderson guy. Yeah, there was that other Wes Anderson movie recently that he was... Oh, the Boy Scout thingy. It was so good. Like, every shot is a beautiful picture, and it's so well acted, and it's amazing. Right. Oh, there's so many bad ones that I really like because I grew up with them. I don't think this is a bad one. Scrooged? I really like Scrooged. Uh, Oh, yeah. It's a fun film. Doesn't Joe Brett love that film, too? I think we were talking about it. Yeah, and then, um, uh, what's... Oh, what about... Bob or whatever. What about Bob? I don't know that one. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's one of those like '90s comedies from that era. Yeah. Did ever? Did he ever do like a uh, a Robin Williams and randomly like be a bad guy in a movie? Was he? I don't, like like I don't like know. he was like a murderer. I don't know. I mean, like when Dane Cook did it. Like which was also with uh, weird. Kevin Costner. With Kevin Costner. You know that was supposed to be a trilogy, and then I guess it failed. But like yeah, they all signed on to do like three of those. Mr. Really? Brooks or whatever. It yeah. Is, yeah. Um, that was a weird. That was, I think that was right near the end of his acting career. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Dane Cook's Dane Cook. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was about, right. Yeah, it's at the end of his his little trajectory that he did. It's always it's weird watching careers. Like Matthew McConaughey is amazing now, mm-hmm. and like he was in like ah, all those fucking terrible. You know what it was? Uh, it failure was, to launch. Failure to launch. You know what it was? How to it lose was, the guy uh, in ten days. It was Lincoln Lawyer. <laughs> Lincoln, Lincoln Lawyer, like, yeah. turned it around for him. And it was, like, just good enough that if you saw it, you were like, holy crap, that's yeah. a good movie. But it wasn't, like, critically acclaimed enough to, like, yeah. launch him. Um, as far as Bill Murray goes, Ghostbusters 2. I was like, are I we like not knowing Ghostbusters to say the word one. Ghostbusters yeah. in this? <laughs> but I, I, I know it's not cool to, like, like the second oh, one more, but I do. That's, like, my mom's favorite movie. Stripes. Stripes. Uh, oh, wait. No, my mom's favorite movie is another, it's a Tom Cruise movie that has a similar name. What is it? Uh, Taps. Uh, no, you're good, yeah. Uh, and maybe know, possibly the last one, maybe. Joshua Dean says, if you absolutely had to, would you get a robot? Would you get robot arms or robot legs? If you did, which would you get and why? Robot legs. Yeah. yeah. You can't touch a boy in the naughty places if you got robot hands. Yeah. I think we have time for one more. Yeah, we totally do. I was like, I think everyone's with legs. Nailed it. <laughs> you can jump you can, really hard. Well, and you can be in public without... People being like, yo, do you have robot limbs of any kind? Yeah, yeah. you can put pants like, on. And there's always going to be that high bro at a party that's like, how do you not rip your dick off, bro? Yep. How do you not do that, bro? Which would be the first question. <laughs> it would be. Not like, so do you, can you type? <laughs> <laughs> how are your motor skills in general? <laughs> All right, second question. Your penis, second how's question. it doing? <laughs> um, Alan Doss uh, on Twitter, at Hairless Tugboat. Great. <laughs> says, uh, at Steve Zaragoza, if you had to replace a limb with anything, what limb would you replace? And what would you replace it with? Legs, robot. Boom, one <laughs> Boom. more. Here we go. <laughs> do you think that's what he calls his penis? Lightning round. Robot leg? No, 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 the uh, Hairless Tugboat. The hairless Tugboat. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. It's definitely something like that. Oh, that's amazing. All right, on Reddit, Improv Musical Number says, Thoughts on the best insult? One of my favorites is occupational ignoramus or a cranberry fucknut. It depends on who I'm talking to. How about next time? How about, uh, you're not really happy, no one's tricked, Josh? <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty funny. That's funny. I don't know why. I just wanted to be like, Ooh, That's got my me. real name. I was born a man. Rude. We agreed to not talk about it. At Mystic <laughs> Sir so says, if you had the ability to make anything portable or foldable, what would you choose to make Pold- portable or foldable? Personal computers. <laughs> like Sorry. my whole PC I dream rig? of a day. <laughs> I dream of a day. Uh, we'll have an a, a object like this yeah. <laughs> that is just like a computer. You can hook up to the internet anywhere you go. With no cords. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, a Witchcraft. Ba- battery that lasts no less than three hours with active <laughs> use. Um, that's that's the future, though, still. Yeah. A basic product, yeah. still two, three hours. Yep. Uh, I'd, like, make my dog 
foldable. Put her in <laughs> Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be sweet. You could like fold up your dog and then I mean, just be like, bloop, and then it'd be like, there's many. People would think you were a magician. Technically, no one's stopping you. Oh, just <laughs> physics. Just a little, not quite as lively as she is, yeah. but that's okay. I, I was going to say house, but they have houses on wheels now uh, that you can drag behind. They're called cardboard Thanks. boxes. Yes. I lived in one for several years. What would I do? You know what I would do? I'll tell you what I would do. Buckle up, kids. It's going to be, I would do a uh, either a hot tub or a shower. Uh, that I could put anywhere in like a room or something and have like really good water pressure and be able to take like hot showers or hop in a jacuzzi mm. or a hot tub anytime I want. Dude, or that's good. I like that I have a dog and you guys are like, meh, dog. You got a shower. You're bringing yeah. a whole bathroom with Dude, you. Look, I enjoy my so steam we're time. All on board. I like my steam time every, at the end of a long day. Uh, I would oh, like I to have a, a, a basketball hoop that is easy to adhesive to the walls. And with that stroke, that's the end of table talk. We had such good stuff, and then we ended what on What do you have there, Phil? Oh, it's just my basketball. <laughs> just, just that, put it up here. But the, in the not shitty ones. <laughs> the regulation, no, is that what you're talking shitty. about? Like the regulation. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty cool. Because otherwise idea. we have that giant thing that just now. like, we always hit the fucking No, I would so. never ever do that, but that's because it's me. I, but I would be like, oh, good, that's good. But nice then if you, that was you. the one thing you chose, I'd be like, why didn't you choose a hot tub? You could have chosen a hot tub. I'm trying to think. Everything else is portable. Yeah, yeah a lot of Most things we have is now portable. are portable. What is something, though? I want, like, capsule cars, like, from Dragon Ball. I'm just, like, throw capsules in, like, <laughs> car. Oh. Yeah. Get yeah. Uh, see, I, you say that, I'm like, but what about food, though? <laughs> like, I'm also, like, food? I could get what little penny capsules. You carry places. Fast food. food, if you will. <gasps> what if you had portable... Oh, wait, I guess they are portable. I was going to say, what if you have portable corgis? And I'm like, you can just pick up a corgi and take it yeah. wherever you want to go. Yeah. As long as you have like a like a mailbox size carrier, you can pretty much fit a four. And in. and on Lindsay, it, Lindsay, whoa. whoa! I'm glad I was here for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> you guys can't see, but Drew literally went whoopee. <laughs> guys, that's it for Table Talk. Thanks for joining us, submitting your topics on Twitter hashtag Table Talk, Reddit r slash Horset. I'm Meg Turney. I'm Elliot Morgan. I'm Philip DeFranco. <sighs> you were gonna be in trouble. That's fun. Uh, just fuel some stupid rumors. I've, I've done that with Tiffany with like Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I used to call my teacher mom all the time.